Hello and welcome to Do It. Simon and I have been kicking around the idea of joining a farmer's market and setting up a stand and I figured now would be a great time to do some experiments for some lower priced items. So I bought these great pieces of plywood on Amazon and they are really beautiful. The grain is very nice, um, it's very consistent and it is a perfect cutting material for the K40. However, the sheets are too big for the K40, so I have to cut them down on the table saw, and what's left over are these little off cuts. So these have been kind of accumulating in my shop, and I figured this would be a good time to see what I could do with these that could potentially turn a profit. So after cruising around the internet, I found some laser cut earring ideas that I kind of wanted to roll with. So I was just going to experiment. The first one, I just wanted to put in the board without anything covering it. The second, we are going to cover it with masking tape or blue painter's tape. Now when engraving on the K40, I like to only use about 10 to 12 percent power. The third and final thing I really wanted to try was painting all of these strips ahead of time and then covering them with a mask, uh, masking tape and then seeing how that would turn out. So I was pretty confident in this one as you could tell because I painted a boatload of these strips. And finally, I took some samples from each of the different types of cut and I decided that I was just going to spray paint those afterwards to see how they turned out. So here were the results. Um, this was one of the laser cuts without any of the masking and you can see that it's brown around the edges and you know, there are definitely impurities that might make that a less desirable product. Um, and that was pretty consistent throughout, which was unsurprising. The next ones came out looking pretty nice, but there was something still, I don't know, unfinished about a product that it was just plywood with something etched into it. I mean, I'm sure there would be a, a certain aesthetic that people enjoys about that maybe they like the look of that but it's still not something that I thought looked like a finished product so these were the ones that I painted ahead of time and I have to say I was also very disappointed um, they still had the burnt edges which I knew would come up um, but I thought it would allow multiple colors and it just wasn't the case. Anytime I tried to, to add anything else the colors would bleed through the um, fine grain in the wood and it just didn't end up being something that I enjoyed the aesthetic of and it was just a lot of extra work because you had to paint everything again. So what was kind of satisfying was the one that looked the best in the end was the one that was easiest to do. It was the one that we just cut out but then spray painted it afterwards. Um, and I think that the aesthetic of these was kind of cool and just to think that um, you could make these in a variety of colors and you could batch out hundreds of these and then just spray paint them down at the end. It's a very set it and forget it type of a deal. And um, I think that these ended up being the best products in the end. So I found these uh, stud backs earrings on Amazon and it was like a couple hundred for a few dollars. And then what I did was I just applied the backs to the earrings with a little bit of CA glue. And um, you know you could really crank through a lot of these in a short amount of time.
So Simon and I are avid watchers of Make Something, and what we found really interesting was his episode on craft fairs and farmers markets, and he was talking about different price points. And just being able to provide something on a higher end, but also in the middle and on the lower end. So these would be something that you could batch out and make hundreds of and you know sell for a dollar or two dollars and still make ten times your materials cost. So this will be something that would be a good addition for our venture next year. If you liked any of these files and you would like to print any of them yourself, they are posted in the links below and you can print to your heart's content. If you like this video, we have laser cutting, CNCing, and 3D printing videos coming out pretty regularly, so we encourage you to hit the like and subscribe button as well as that bell icon to get you a notification when we do. And as always, thanks for watching.